Check it out, your mother faxed me a speech to introduce her with. Well, that was nice of her, or completely out of line, and I'm sorry. <laughs> Listen to this, Dom the darling. I know you're terribly busy, so I jotted down a few ideas for your speech. Took the liberty of putting it in your vernacular. <laughs> Did you know I had a vernacular? No. <laughs> what can I say about Kitty Montgomery? She is certainly one groovy mother-in-law. She didn't say groovy. Apparently, I need to update my vernacular. Kitty Montgomery would never dream of standing here and telling you how tirelessly she gives it herself. <laughs> so let me rap about it. Rap? Busy man, I'm gonna rap. Dude, nobody talks like this. Your father does. I don't want to do some boring speech. I want to do something personal. Do you have any fun stories I can tell about your mother? Fun? Mm -hmm. You know, if you change rap and groovy, what she wrote isn't so bad. <laughs> hey guys, you got a minute? Yeah, come on. Darwin, Greg, we want you to know, both to know that we appreciate your, your help, your support, but uh, we can't ignore the truth anymore. Our marriage has never been a happy one, and... Uh, We're getting a divorce. Yeah. What? Just like that, you're gonna throw away six weeks of marriage? <laughs> it was really over after four weeks. The last two, we were pretty much just going through the motions. <laughs> anyway, the reason we're here is Pete's already a lawyer, so I want you to be mine. Wow, Greg, that's gotta be flattering, huh? Um, uh, well, flattering as it may be, Jane, I, I can't be your lawyer. This is about money, because I got money. Ah, no, 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 don't be silly. Greg oh. would never charge you, would you? No, but, um... Great! Then forget what I said about the money, because I don't want him to know about it. I'm right here. But I told my lawyer, so legally you don't know about it. Is that right? I don't know. <laughs> Jane, I, I, I can't represent you, because uh, Pete's my friend. Oh, hey, it's fine by me, buddy. You know, I can't think of anyone else I'd rather have represent Jane. There you go. Everybody's happy. Ba-bam, ba-boom. Hey, don't, don't beat me up too bad, huh, pal? Thanks so much. Honey, this is really nice. Hey, you don't understand. I'm, I'm not going to do it. Oh. Well, then, honey, I think you should have said something, because now I think Jane's counting on you. <laughs> You've been married for 32 years. You must have all kinds of fun stories I can tell about Kitty. Fun? Uh-huh. <laughs> fun. Well, maybe fun is too specific. How about any warm stories, you know, that can help show Kitty as a human being? <laughs> okay, well, you know what? You have my number. <laughs> Oh, Celia, just the person I want to see. You know a lot of interesting stuff about Kitty, right? Enough to be a rich woman if I weren't a good Catholic. I mean, like, fun little stories about Kitty. Fun stories? Uh-huh. About Mrs. Montgomery? Okay, how about before she was married? Did she ever talk about that? Oh, yes. She and I are like sisters. We talk all the time. Very good, Celia. Muy sarcastico. Look in the attic. She's got a trunk full of old photographs and books. Oh, and maybe an old diary. I wouldn't know. But I would look in the left-hand corner under the high school yearbooks. Gracias. Yeah, don't hurt yourself. Pete said I should sign these papers. What do you think? I, I think you should hire a lawyer. He said it's all standard stuff. Hire a lawyer. Why? Jane, please. Just give me an example. Well, like here, he's got you paying him alimony, which seems, you know, kind of out of line for a six-week marriage. What else? Um, this clause, um, Mrs. Kavanaugh will continue to provide the plaintiff with marital services following the... <laughs> dissolution of the union. Do you, do you, you know what that means? Nope. Get a lawyer. <laughs> Wait a minute. My best friend and my wife. I want a divorce. Hey, get one. You low life scum. What? My lawyer informs me you're trying to screw me here. It was a first draft. I took a shot. Take him for everything he's got. I want him fighting with his cat for the last little frisky. Thanks a lot, buddy. I guess I know who my friends are, huh? Pete, I'm not a lawyer. Oh, yeah, right. Well, if you'll excuse me, I got an appointment now with a guy who's not my doctor. He just enjoys checking my prostate. 